As a white person, I've always seen myself represented in children's books um, and seen myself um, in the white characters that are often dominating in children's literature and seeing all the opportunities that are available for um, somebody who looks like me through um, the diversity in storylines and emotions and representation um, that are portrayed mainly by white characters and white people in books. My hope for representation down the line is that people of all um, identities are able to see themselves reflected in um, multi-representational like storylines and um, their histories are told and authentic stories are told um, that represent um, their whole person and whole identity. Uh, reading children's books, I felt represented from um, the type of books I read. Most of them were uh, animal books, though, which I felt didn't really represent me, but also kind of represented me at the same time, kind of both of those things. But I really didn't really look into, um, oh, like, there's no books for me until, like, fourth and fifth grade. By then, I never really didn't care that much to be honest. You know, but like kindergarten, like third, I was reading a lot of animal books. Um, or, you know, like I guess the only animals that were black were like the birds and bears. And, like only uh, animals that were white were uh, Max. Okay. But you know, <laughs> yeah, that's about it. Um, as I was looking through the library section, there was a much better presentation on my own culture. I guess as teachers, we should be able to have a diverse section of each culture and not just have one majority. I think it's important to have a diverse amount of books because everybody wants to see themselves represented in one way, shape, or form. Everybody wants to see themselves in, in like books and stuff like that. Yeah, the voice matters. To me, this quote is talking about how in books, it'll help you not only see what other people are like, but you can also relate to your own life and your own experiences through the books. You might see a situation that you had to deal with on your own and kind of see how other people handle that or see situations that other people had to deal with and get a new perspective on what it's like um, and how people's lives are. I personally, when looking at children's books, didn't really see a lot of like diversity or other people like me. It was mainly like other experiences I may have experienced, but like physically, I didn't see the same person as me. On the other hand, I felt that as a kid growing up, I always felt like I was pretty represented in children's books being white, and I always found books that had people that looked like me in them, and there really wasn't a lot of books that had diversity in them when I was growing up and if it wasn't people it was normally animals in the books and so it's definitely something that needs to be changed. Um, when we were reading our children's books we saw ourselves being represented as white females. Um, there's definitely more males than females I've noticed and yeah. Something else I noticed was that I never really saw low socioeconomic class being shown in books which I feel like is something that needs to change because we need to be representative, representative of everybody in our country and in the world so that kids can become more aware at a young age.